What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Try it daily, just to try to get the achievement, and uh, no bueno. So we are just gonna die. Um, I'm a little rusty, man. It's been a couple days since I've played, and I'm a little nervous because this is the run. This is the run to break the streak record, dog. To break the streak record. All right, here we go. Eden. For our 17th win in a row, let's see what we can do here. Never good. Pl uh, freaking Curse of the Unknown off the bat with Eden is never good. Like, ever good. Stuck in a room with all these flies is also never good. We gotta windle our way out of here. I don't think windle is a real word, but it's kind of like swindle, but just drop the S kind of deal. I'm all jacked up, dude. I just want a player, player unknowns, battlegrounds, which is like the new alpha game in alpha that is like an H1Z1 Arma survival, the fittest type game. And uh, yeah, I just won one, a solo one at that. And I was very excited about it. It's a, di it's a difficult game, and I feel like I've, I've gotten pretty good at it. I mean, good enough to win, right? That's that's good enough for me. So we picked up Ludovico technique here just because of our tiers weren't like that amazing. And, uh, you know, mom's bra, Ludovico technique, not a bad synergy to start here. I'm just really nervous about the unknown health. That's always really nerve wracking. You never know. You could be one hit away from death. Touch this for the bookworm transformation. Okay. But yeah, I recorded some of those in a little bit of a batch. So I'm a little bit rusty. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, a lot of pl like Player Unknown's Battleground. Okay, don't run into this big champion. Oh God. I mean, I'm just trying to kill any of them at this point. It doesn't even have to be the champion that dies. I mean, it would be nice just because if I run into him, I think it's two hearts of damage and that could very well kill us. A two heart Eden start is not unheard of. Even a one heart Eden start isn't unheard of. All right, should go into goo. Got a nice little nickel. I'm okay with this. I think Ludovico technique is a great pickup. We just need some shot speed to get this thing moving around. Why didn't I pick up the, uh, or do the tinted rock? I don't know. I'm gonna go back for it. I left the room too quick. Couldn't even think. All right, let's see what we get. Yes, that is that is huge right there. That is huge. I mean, it may not be, it may not mean anything, but like we don't know what it means. It could be huge, or it could, like I said, not mean anything. We could be well off on health, and we just don't realize it. Um, what did we start with with Eden? Judas's shadow. Oh, oh, okay, all right. I think that's Judas's shadow. We're gonna have to wait till our uh, curse goes away to make sure of it, but if it is, I'm, I'm down to take advantage of it. I guess I should have checked that before, but there was no item on the right, and I got a little, a little concerned about where our starting item went, but that makes total sense if it's Judas' shadow. It's a great starting item. Wish I knew that before I took the uh, soul hearts. I think there's another tin rock here. There is. Maybe wait. Oh, that's so good. Don't have to wait for anything. Um, we are kind of slow, but it's not gonna be that big of a deal. There you go. I love it. I love the synergy. It's nice. This is a champion little horn, I think. He looks a little bit darker than normal. The ball on ball action, boys. Ball on ball action. Okay. Too many balls. Too many balls. Hard to chase down. That's hard to chase down as well. Wow, our tier is slow. All right, go, 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 go. Yes. All right, and HP. Man, I really wish I knew I had Judas' a shadow. Oh, it is there. It was just hidden, dude. And it probably wasn't hidden in the beginning. Damn. Damn. I don't know, man. You know what? Let's just have it as a safety valve. Let's have it as a safety valve. I mean, if we die organically, we'll come back as Judas' shadow. Wow, we have a lot of soul hearts. Wow, we have a lot of soul hearts. We only had one red heart, though. 
Explosive diarrhea. Power pill? <laughs> that was a clutch power pill right there. But yeah, we got an HP up. Oh, dude. Okay. So we picked up two soul hearts. We haven't gotten hit. <clears throat> so we had... Our starting health was two and a half soul hearts. I think that was our starting health. Okay, okay. I mean, it's kind of not that big of a deal considering we had Judas of Shadow, so our starting health didn't matter too much. There's another Tinted Rock. And we have a bomb to access it. I mean, if this drops two soul hearts, it didn't. I was going to say, you can really make the case for just getting it over with, but I do like it as a safety valve. You know, to protect the the streak, like if we just play as if we don't have it, and then if we run into a situation like dying where we uh, need it, then it'll come in the clutch, man. No tinted rock there, it didn't look like. Oh, the jukes. The jukes! Just wait for that to pass. So the shop is, you know, on my list of things to do, but we only have one key is the problem. That is such a grotesque picture. Nice. Got him before he jumped. Before he jumped. But yeah, I mean, the shop is definitely on my list of things to do, but with one, only one key right now. Just kidding. It's kind of annoying we have to go in and out of this room thing. Oh my God, don't do this. But it could be worth it. Wow, we barely can outrun these spikes. The confusion is real. Wait for it. I hope someone put out a fire. Um, We'll buy this. Ace of spades. I mean, not amazing. I was hoping for a joker or two of diamonds. Something of the sort. Nothing really doing. All right, let's go over here to the right. Should run into our item room and our boss room. But yeah, I've been playing that player unknowns battlegrounds. I mean it's in early access. It's you know not everybody's cup of tea, especially when it comes to H1Z1 stuff. Um but yeah, man, I enjoyed the shit out of playing that today on stream and played some Overwatch. It was a good time. It was a good time. Okay, when do you freeze the haunt? Now. Now you do. The little haunts are definitely the hardest part about the fight. And this shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh, it is a big deal because I barely can catch up to him. As you can see, our tier rate's really bad. It's only flickering every once in a while. We gotta get that. We gotta get that sorted. Oh, we did hit him. Just barely. Stay on him. <laughs> Couldn't dodge. I was way, I was paying attention on catching up with them. All right. Another health up. I mean, at this point, it's getting a little ridiculous. I was going to say, these guys are probably way faster than this tier. Oh, wow. This is a joke. Okay. Well, there's that. Oh, God. All right. <clears throat> so, we just take this. Take this. I know I was going on about, you know, saving it, but the health up presented itself. We'll take it. We kind of needed the help here. Uh, Ace of Spades, we'll just turn that into a key and uh, be on our way. I don't think there was a soul heart in the shop. If there was, I'm a little salty about it, but I really, really, really don't think there was. We should be a hell of a lot more powerful, and it looks like we are. It feels like we are. We also got to remember to use mom's bra if need be. But we are we are tearing them apart now. Let's check out what's in here. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about it. If it was one of those like iron chest, gold chest, red chest things, I would have probably done it. But just one gold chest, it doesn't, doesn't interest me too much. That guy will just take our keys. This is probably a room, like, when you walk in with it and there's three, there's three spawners, you might want to mom's bra it right off the bat, right? Because you mom's bra the spawners, and then you kill the spawners before they can spawn anything. Not a bad, not a bad move. <sighs> Gotta touch that for the bookworm. 
I don't really know what Bookworm would do for us in this scenario. Do we take Satanic Bible over Mom's Bra? Probably. For our survivability, I think yes. I don't I, I like the synergy with the Ludovico technique and and yada yada yada. Okay, so does our tier just Well we got it it was a tiers up, so I'm totally okay with that. Um we'll check it out. We don't have much money, but I would like to try to swindle five cents if we can out of this guy. I'll just buy this. I know we have Satanic Bible. We shouldn't really have to worry about soul hearts, but I'm being protective over this 16 win streak, man. I want to I want to break my own personal record. Like bad. We're so close to it that it's like we got to just break it. Some money. Oh, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. We could look at it like we traded one, the soul heart back for 5 cents. That's not what happened at all, but that's how we can look at it if we want to look at the bright side. But yeah, that tears up from chocolate milk helped out a lot. And that battery is going to help out a lot. And I'm going to wait to take it because we already have half the charge on the Bible. You might be saying, Jay, it's not the Bible. Well, it's a satanic Bible. It's not the Bible, I guess. I mean, <laughs> let's not get into that, huh? Let's not get into that. I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, two batteries is two black hearts, which is awesome. Let's go over here, and there's no fight. But we can fight the boss, come back out, grab the batteries, yada, yada, yada. I'm okay with this. This shouldn't be too bad of a fight. Yeah, wow. That, I mean, that was an easier fight than I thought it was going to be. Uh, a range up. I don't really know what that does for Ludovico technique. I'd be lying if I said I did. I don't. I think shot speed is how fast the ball moves. Tears is how fast the, the damage ticks. Damage would be just like how big the ball gets. Or tier, I should say. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, caves two. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We, we're pretty powerful, man. I love a good Ludovico technique build, and like we're getting there. We get some good, you know, shot speed and tears ups. We be golden, dog. We be golden. I mean, the seven tier rate's pretty damn good. Ten damage is very good. Uh, we'll check this out. We do have a Satanic Bible, so not that we could be loose with our health, but we can be uh, a little, a little more aggressive when it comes to our health. Probably more aggressive than normal. More aggressive than you can be without a Satanic Bible. Mm. I, okay. Yeah, I was scared that guy was gonna blow up into a tears and it was like kind of cutting me off of where I could go. But I have to remember that's my headless baby and my creep. Hashtag not my creep. All right, the fool. We will actually fight the boss right off the bat here. One, we're going to get the charge for the Satanic Bible, which is nice. Pretty unnecessary, but it'll speed up the fight. I'll hold on to two of my bombs. That was a very quick fight. Torn photo is awesome. We will take it. We'll see what the deal with the devil has to offer us. And okay, okay, I see you. And it's a, there's an angel here. Hello, angel. Hello, angel. Um. Yeah, and then we'll void it. Yeah, Jay, you know how to use the void, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Now we got a satanic Bible and a void, so we can choose to void items that we don't really care about. And we'll get a random passive stat upgrade, which could be great could be actually great and yes i know i ran into that i'm sorry i'm sorry dad i'm sorry dad it had to be done man i don't know what character this is uh i'm gonna drop this and hope for some money we got no money uh but i got sunshine in a bag let's i don't know where my tier is i have no okay um, we'll, we'll hit out some of these fires because I would love car battery with void. I think, well, it, yeah, yeah. We don't have anything weird attached to it. Satanic Bible, like, like getting the car battery on there will only give us, well, not only, it will actually give us 
two black hearts instead of just one every time we play it, which is awesome. Um, you just kind of got to be a little bit careful about the battery with the void. If you have some weird items like, I don't know, IV Bay, stuff like that, but we don't have any. We just got the void. So the car battery would be great. Okay, we got a battery there. Speaking of batteries. And here's like a good spot to use the use the void. I guess we'll wait to see if we can get car battery or enough money to buy car battery. <coughs> it's not looking good because there's probably only like one or two rooms left. Yeah, it's not looking good at all. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I mean I'll take that as a speed up for sure. Um, we're just gonna go back and we're going to Void the homing bombs. I don't think homing bombs is bad, but I like the idea of a random stat up more We got one luck. Yeah, it was a little a bit underwhelming It was a bit underwhelming um, But it's it's one luck up, you know, we just don't have homing bombs now. It's like not the end of the world We're not missing out on a ton of goodies uh, we are going to be missing out on car battery, however. And I'm actually going to pop that right now, the void. Because... It's going to give us another black heart. So it's like a satanic Bible. Uh, plus, we don't really need the void until we get to the boss uh, to either grab his item or if we get to the item room, which we actually got to pretty quickly. Which isn't a big deal. We are super powerful. I am super proud of how this run has turned out so far. Uh, that is that is voidable for me. I like Mongo Baby, but it familiars, especially shooting familiars, are a little wonky when you have Ludovico technique. It's just not you're not really thinking about aiming tears in that in that sense. So we'll wait on it. We're we are only three rooms away. We're not that impatient. We can wait and then get another black heart out of the whole deal instead of handcuffing ourselves three rooms short. Whipworm. That's actually really good. I like, oh wow, that is, ooh, baby. Um, I like the speed up for the character, but I think I have to say, Whipworm Ludovico technique, low key flame synergy. For sure, real nice. Jeez, man. <laughs> we, uh, we are real powerful. Kind of out of nowhere. All right, let's, oh, come on. Let's consume this, and then uh, we can even pick up the battery and then, like, continue to head up. Uh, we got, what, shot speed? More shot speed, and then a range up, too. The shot speed's gotten out of hand. This might be silly of me to pick up that battery, considering, you know, we got a couple rooms before we're going to see the boss. And I had a feeling the, the boss fight was going to be up. I'm sorry, what? Oh, baby. Those jukes, though. Looking like a young Reggie Bush at a USC. Holy hell. Those jukes. That was like, those are jukes you can only do in college. Like, in the NFL, they just, they're way too fast. They catch you every time. But that was like a college, like, the whole, the whole rope-a-dope. You bring them all the way back around the field. That felt good, man. That felt good. I was gonna say, if there's something good in there, I'll, I'll, you know, pop it and then full card out. But we could make boss rush. I mean, it's a stretch. The fact of the matter is, the boss is definitely up top at this point. I don't think it's down here. Curse of the Maze is screwing us. Could actually make it impossible for us to get boss rush. Left hand, uh, I like you, but I ain't gonna take you. I bet my money on the boss fights up top. Yep. Just felt like it. Just felt like it. Um, yeah. Stuff like that is going to make it really hard for us to catch up here. Stuff like that as well. Again, I like the goat, goat hoof. That could be good. That could be good. All right, let's go. Okay, came in hot, came in real hot. A battery is nice. Uh, I don't know, who knows? Another key is nice. I just don't know if we'd be able to kill mom that fast. 
The thing is, we don't have to worry about getting item room or shop. We can go straight to the boss because we could full card out and then explore the rest of the uh, what it's got to offer. Okay, so we got a another shot speed up. Is that even real anymore? Uh, it looks like a luck up and then something else. Honestly, a speed up at this point would be good. The shot speed ups are almost becoming a detriment to us. It's just so damn fast, it's hard to control. Again, we're just gonna be uh, super aggressive here to try to get the boss rush. Um, this is real unfortunate though. Actually, it's not unfortunate. We know where the boss fight is. We want to get a charge though before we enter because then we can consume boss rush if it's nothing good and then be out of there. But that's gonna be enough for a charge because then we kill mom and we're gonna get that last little bubble there and uh, pop in the boss rush and see what's up. Then we could then we could full card out. I'm totally okay with this and it's red mom. Okay with Red Mom as well. I mean, it's, it's a little silly now, Ma. You just see it kind of just stomping right on top of my tear. Whatever, man. Do your thing. Do your damn thing. This is going to take two bombs? Yeah, this looks like one of those super secret rocks. Damn. Damn. All right, let's check out what's in here. Meh, meh. Ooh, you know what? It's just too, it's too, yeah. It was too tempting to not do that. Uh, I like Halo just fine, but consuming all four of them just seemed more interesting to me. And we actually got another, uh, or not another, we actually got a decent amount of damage there. It was probably like two or three in the damage up. Damn, this is gonna be a win for sure. This is a super powerful run. Perks, perks. It's like powerful to the point where we don't really need to go to the item rooms anymore, but you know, I will, I will. Perfect timing for that. Ran right into him. Ran my ass right into him. We'll do this because we do have the shop still. Okay. Never mind, I guess. <clears throat> still haven't found the item room. Curse of the Maze, can you not? Didn't we have Curse of the Maze last time? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's check out the item room. And that's going to be Bookworm. It's going to be Bookworm. And we will void it as well. It's Book of Secrets. It's not going to hurt us in any shape, way, or form. We're, we're out of control. It's gone out, off the rails completely. Oh... Oh no, we got some shit breaking on our thing. Do you hear that? It sounds like we're shooting. Look at my head. Oh, they, what? That's that broken? I didn't know it was that broken. Damn, all right. Maybe I would have avoided, maybe I would have avoided bookworm because that's going to be quite annoying. What? Oh, it was a bomb rock. So that means this isn't going to work either. God damn. Um... Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That's that's gonna be there probably the whole remainder of the run. It's like confused at what's happening. We just wasted so many bombs and keys there for like nothing. Oh, let's go down to the womb. <laughs> that that sounds like a sounds like a dog ha has his head out the window and his lips are smacking together or some shit. The tears like bouncing from my head and then sometimes going on top of my tear. Very strange. I think it's helping though, damage wise. I would assume it's helping. Cause every once in a while the tear does seem to flick over there and like overlap my tear. But most of the time it's just on my head. You can tell how high our tear rate is though by how quick that noise is going. When Ludo's like this powerful, it does get kind of like, all right, now we now we just dodge. We just dodge and win. I mean, I've been trying to go to curse rooms. They've just not really been kind to me. I mean, could be worse. We'll do that because we get the book of secrets and access some secret rooms. Decent amount of money. 
Second secret room's up there. Probably means the boss is up there as well. Kill them before they can close on me. Uh, yeah, it feels up here. Feels like up here. Nah, probably left. Dry baby, hello. Welcome to the freaking run, man. Welcome to the run. We we picked you up like floor two. I don't think I've heard from you since. Welcome though. Hello. Hello there. God, this this bookworm is confusing the shit out of this guy. It's like I don't get it. Is he shooting at me or what? <clears throat> oh. Not necessarily true. Got to go up a little bit, I think. <laughs> Just non-stop shooting. I mean, there's no real point in using the batteries at now because it's like we're at full health. We already did the Book of Secrets. We know where the boss is. And Daddy Longlegs. DLL, my boy. That's, that's, that's going to be a rough time. Two health ups. You know what that means. Consume city. And two more damage. My lord. My lord, dude. Give me lump. Oh, you son of a bitch. I mean, I could have consumed that. I still probably could have if I went down and got the battery and went back for it, but it might have closed up. It's not going to matter one way or the other. Jeez. They are dying. They are dying quickly, boys. That's, yeah, this room, this room's hard not to get hit in. All right, try it, baby. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Why am I trying to get money? I don't really know. Honestly, bombs are more valuable than money right now, but leave it to me. Leave it to me to continuously try to use bombs. Actually, don't do that. Get him first so, like, you don't blow him up and then the other guy has, like, that, that effect of his head, like, goes down and doesn't pop up his head for a bit. Just thinking. You know? Thinking ahead. Trying to be ahead of the game. What? He shot a tear before he died. You think the boss is up there? I'm gonna go with yes. These rooms are always difficult. No matter what kind of build and how OP you are, the ones that chase you down like that are, it's its real, it's real. It is, let's go. We don't have a charge, which, you know, isn't the end of the world. I'm good on that. Probably get a battery from it, but it's not necessary. The only thing we really can consume, though, is uh, deal with the devil. If we get one. And we'll just go. We'll go up. Why not? There's no real reason to fight the hush. I get it. I have a ton of money. I probably could kill the hush, but there's times where it's like, I don't really feel like fighting the hush, you know? There, I mean, there's it's more often than not that I feel like that. But then there's, you know, very few times where I'm like, yeah, this feels like it would be fun to kill with hush. The reason this wouldn't be that fun, I always like killing hush with like a, a, strong, a strong like death's touch tier or something. You know, a tier I could still aim. This would literally be me sitting in the, the blue womb running around uh, and just leaving the tier there because the hush doesn't move much. It would probably be a win if I had to guess. If I had to put my money on it. No, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Um, we can continuously use Book of Secrets and reveal the map, right? That's the idea. That's the meme. We should probably do that. Or try to do that anyway. Curse rooms have not been kind to me, so we're just going to avoid them. Just continue on our way. Haven't, like, seen any runes, like, at all, it seems. Unless I'm tripping. Mimic chest. I'm okay with this. Let's check this out. Do it. 
Consumables, lover's card, chest, seeker room, all good. And then the boss, let's go. Fighting Isaac, pretty quick run here, boys. I don't know, it just took off kinda out of nowhere. I'm saying out of nowhere, but it was kind of a slow, like, developed build. Like, we, we got the Ludo, we were toughing it out without Dark Judas. I saw my opportunity. I kept giving the safety safety lock BS with Judas's shadow, but the the damage is too tasty to leave it as a safety valve. It's too tasty. I can't help it. I gotta activate Dark Judas as soon as I can. Um, so hopefully it's not Curse of the Unknown. Okay, Curse of Darkness. Well, this is good enough to take. Um, everything else consumed. Got some. Got some. Uh, speed i was gonna say foot speed but then i was like you know they'll understand what i mean if i just say speed i just feel like i've been talking about shot speed in this episode more so than i ever do so i felt like i wanted to preface that with like on foot speed but figured you guys could figure it out all right um yeah we won't even consume that actually Oh, this is a hell room. This is a hell room. Handled pretty well. So both our seeker rooms are right there. That's kind of interesting, is it not? Wonder if we could pop through somewhere. No, it doesn't look like we can. Maybe. <laughs> Freaking greed! Wow, his shot was seemed fast, did it not? I mean, we can consume that. That's another space bar item that we can consume. Just doesn't seem that worth it. Uh, I mean, we might as well consume this. Because I wanted to use it for the map play. I'm going to guess that it's to the left here. Down that bottom hook? I don't know. Look at this, double mantra melted. Don't stand too close to each other, dog. I mean, that's GG. As if it wasn't GG already, watch this. Just kidding, I'm kidding. This is a good joke. You can't move the tear. <sighs> can't move the damn tear. That's gonna get rid of per permanent forward invincibility, but that's all right. That's all right. A little bit more damage is nice. Could have easily consumed that for a passive stat upgrade. Okay, I really thought this was going to be the boss. Whoops. Guess I'm wrong. Guess I'm wrong. Where is it going to be? I guess it's going to be right because the two big rooms are kind of connected to nothing. Huh. Okay, then. Still going to be a sub-30 run, which is pretty badass. With that, like, kind of hesitant start, I would not think so, but... We looking good, dog. We looking good. Looking good for sub-30 here. Consume. Oh, two more damage. Let's go. Let's go. Rip those flies that spawned. Rip, blue baby. Oh, shit. That's our record right there. That is our record win streak. You guys witnessed it. Longest streak, 17. Our current streak is 17, baby. 17 Eden win streak. Let's try to crack 20. I mean 18 first, right? One step at a time, one game at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't if you didn't enjoy this video, I don't know. Alright, the video down below. Um, if you haven't watched them, check them out. Make sure uh, to subscribe for for more video dailies. Goodbye.